Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I'm here actually for a review. This is not a fly tying video. It's for a light. A lot like this one. It's actually a curing light for UV resin. Now, many of you know, I use SolarRes. Um, I think it's some of the best deal for the resin out there that you can get. Uh, big bottles, something like that size. I, I, I don't, don't quote me on the price. I don't remember. It's been a while since I bought it because I haven't had to buy a whole lot with this giant four fluid ounce bottle. Um, I've got some smaller bottles as well. Um, and, uh, I just, I've got a lot of it and I haven't needed to upgrade. Um, this is some of the best stuff ever. Ultra thin. There's, um, bone dry stuff. Uh, Mine doesn't have the, I showed you the new one that I've got, but I haven't opened it yet because mine, when I open it, I take off that uh, thing so you can see it, but bone dry. But it's for the light. So the lights from the main companies that sell these resins, uh, solar res is not um, uncommon to have a pretty expensive light, um, but theirs is expensive. I think it's in the $50 range for the light. Granted, it's cheaper to buy a bottle of resin than it is for the light. Now, this will last a long time, and it is a very good light, don't get me wrong. Their light is the best, in my opinion, one of the best lights out there for curing resin. It's super quick, super bright, you can see how bright that is, and uh, it's, it's amazing. But it's very expensive, and I know that a lot of you uh, are kind of on a thrifty budget. You love solar res, you want to get it, but then you're looking for cheapo lights from like, China. The problem is those cheapo lights a lot of times will break on you or they're just not as high powered as that light. That is really the best light I've ever used. But I want you guys to be able to get into this. Um, a lot of you have held off for a long time. Um, some of you have decided to just take the plunge, but it is a lot of money. And I want to I want to find a way that you guys can get into getting resin, uh, curing resin with a, a good light. Again, I don't recommend junk. I don't want you guys to get junk. You guys will be depressed. If you buy something that's junk from China, it's going to break on you in a couple weeks, couple months maybe. You might get lucky and get a year out of it. But also, it's not going to cure as fast. That's the problem. Some of these junko, uh, cheapo lights, you'll sit there forever. You'll just sit and sit and sit and sit, and it'll start dripping on you. It won't cure right away. You want something that is powerful that will cure right away. So I think I found one. Sure looks like the Solar Res. It sure is bright like the Solar Res. It is slightly different. And I, th I think it's not quite as good a quality, but it's $17 versus 50. So here's an option for you guys that want to get into this. I still recommend Solar Res. Okay, Solar Res is some of the best resin out there, I think, for the price. Okay, I mean, there's some great resin. Don't get me wrong. There's some formulas out there that you might want to get on top of the solar res as well but i think they're what they've got between their thick stuff their thin stuff and then their ultra thin um and then they've got colors and stuff like that um i think it's great okay so still i recommend that and this will cure that it's called the ultra fire 502 uv it's bright i don't know how much you guys can see from there but it is sure bright i mean just as bright i would say as the solar res To be honest, might even be brighter. Okay, super powerful. Um, I find that it cures about the same amount of time as the Solar Res. Uh, it is bigger, it is bulkier, it is a little heavier. Um, the Solar Res is a little longer, but it's just a little bulkier in the hand. The Solar Res does feel a little better, but whatever. Uh, to me, that doesn't matter. But it and but it's very nice. I, I nice push button that doesn't seem like it's gonna break anytime soon. Uh, when you pull it apart, so this allows you to get on super, you know, almost like a uh, pinpoint and then wider, okay? Um, but let me uh, unscrew this, there we go. I looked inside all the internal seam. You can tell that it's got um, sealed everything. I will link this in the description section of the video for you guys, the Ultrafire 502 UV. Uh, for you guys and um, that way and it does cure solar as very well So I'm actually going to do a comparison test between the two. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take you in a little closer We're going to cure some resins on some flies. All right guys. So first off I'm using 
by the way, I'm using thin hard formula. Put a little dot on there. Let's kind of spread that out so it doesn't look all funky. Kind of overdid that. There we go. And this is the first one is going to be with Solarez's light. So I'm going to do about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And that's hard. No tackiness, no whatsoever. So that's nice. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to pull another fly up. All right, so now same formula, the thin hard. Try to use about the same amount. Spread that out a little bit. And you guys will recognize these flies from the last video I tied. Uh, so I'm just using what's on my bench. So now this is the new one. This is that, uh, so I'm not going to do the, the, the pinpoint. I'm just going to do it wide like it was, like the solar as is. Um, one, two, three, four, five. That cures five seconds. Very nice. So I highly recommend this one, but I have had some other ones where you have to hold it on there for, you know, 30 seconds. And by that time, it's already dripped all the way down to the bottom. Um, it's just, it's a mess. It doesn't work very well. Uh, you know, you really want a good high-powered light. And I think, don't quote me, I think this was $17 when I bought it. I'll put a link in the description section for this Ultra Wire, or Ultra Fire. Um, I'll also put the solar res one in if you want to check it out, but um, I will definitely put in the all the different resins from solar res for you to go buy their uh, resin. I do think it's for for the money it's it's just really hard to beat uh, for their for their resins. Uh, most other resins are very expensive, but I will put a link to all this in the description section of the video for you guys to check it out. You can buy it from there um, and uh, you know it'll be the best prices I can find. This one I bought on, on Amazon, I thought it was the best price for one, and sure enough, it, I mean, it's great quality for $17, so it's really hard to beat. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.